Good day, everyone. I am Marcel Santos from DSN1, be your student nurse for the day. And in this video, I'll be demonstrating the proper way to assess the thorax and lungs together with my patient. But I'll be presenting the posterior part only to protect the client's privacy. And first, I'd like to introduce the equipment I have with me. The stethoscope, the skin marker pencil, the centimeter ruler, and I also have alcohol and a cotton ball to clean the to clean the stethoscope. Then I will introduce my name, speak with the client of what I'm about to do, why it is necessary, and how the client can cooperate. So hi, ma'am. I am Marisol. I am your student nurse for the day, and I'm here to do your assessment for the thorax and lungs. Um, you're Miss Irene. May I see your armband, po? Um, Irene Sigua. Your age, po? How about birthday, po? All right. Thank you very much, ma'am. So I'll be needing your cooperation, po. Um, I'll just check if there's any problem in your body. So if there is, um, we can prevent it as much as possible. And also, I'll have some questions, and I just need you to answer it honestly. So. Is that a great deal, ma'am? Alright, thank you very much. So, it's important to do a hand hygiene before performing any procedure. So, it's up to you if you want to wash your hands or put an alcohol as long as you put a 70%. Then, to provide the client's privacy, you can close the door, you can close the curtain, and if the client is changing a gown, you can ask the client if they want you to stay or they want you to leave. And if the client has the opposite sex as yours, you can ask someone with the same sex as your client to stay inside the room while you're doing, while you, while you're doing the assessment. So ma'am, I have a few questions for you Paul. Do you have any family history of illness or cancer? How about allergies Paul? No allergies? How about history of tuberculosis, Paul? Mm -hmm. uh, do you smoke, ma'am? Uh, do you take any medications? Do you have any pain in your body? Any part of your body? Okay, po. Um, do you have um, siphon or ubo? Po? Okay, po. Thank you very much, ma'am. So now we have to inspect the shape and symmetry of the thorax from the posterior and lateral view and then we will um, compare it to the anterior posterior di diameter which is the front and back then, and then the transverse diameter which is the side to side. So ma'am, can I untie this na po? Thank you very much. Okay. So, based on my observation, it is symmetric. Now, for the spinal cord alignment and the deformities, we have to um, observe the three nor normal curvature, which is the cervical, the thoracic, and the lumbar. To assess the lateral deviation of the spine, which is the scoliosis, as you can see, while the client is sitting, it is aligned. Now, we will have to ask the patient to stand from a lateral position, a lateral view, and we will observe the standing client from rear, and we will have the client bend from the waist, and we will observe it from behind. So ma'am, you can start the ball, you can start from, yeah, very good one. Hips are at the same height, so it is balanced and normal. 
Now we will palpate the posterior thorax. For the clients with lower respiratory complaints, rapidly assess the skin temperature as well as the integrity of all chest skin. And for the clients who do have respiratory complaints, we will palpate all chest areas for bulges, tenderness, abnormal movements. And also, we, re we will avoid um, deep palpation for the painful areas, especially if um, it is suspected as fractured grip. Okay, um, I'll open it again. So the client has a uniform temperature, which is balanced and normal. Next, we'll palpate. Let's see the bulges, the tenderness. Mom, you can say, um, ouch po if there's any pain that you felt po. There's no tenderness, there's no bulges, and also there's no complaint while I'm palpating the back of the client, which means that it is normal and good. Next, we'll palpate the posterior chest for respiratory. We'll place the um, palm like this over the lower thorax of the client, so the thumb is adjacent to the spine, and also the um, fingertips stretch laterally. Take a deep breath, po. Deep breath, hold it, and exhale. Again, po. Inhale, hold it, and exhale. Alright. So, as you can see, my palm is moving like this. Which indicates that the thorax of the patient is good and doesn't have any abnormalities. Full and symmetric chest expansion. That is when the clients um, take a deep breath. Your thumb should move apart at an equal distance and at the same time. Normally, the thumb separates 3 to 5 cm during deep inspiration. Next, for the palpation of the chest for vocal premitus, we'll place the palmar surfaces of our hand or the ulnar. We'll close our fist and then the client will repeat the word um, such as 99, 69, and 1 to 3. It's either using one hand and moving it from side to side to the client or using two hands simultaneously on the corresponding area of the client's chest. So now, we'll do it. Mom, can you repeat the word that I'm about to say? One, two, three. 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 So now let's apply the zigzag procedure. Mom, now um, I'll have you to say the um, 69. Okay, 69. 69. 69. 69. 69. 69. Sixty nine. Sixty nine. Sixty nine. So next one is Papa again. Mom, now you will say the word ninety nine. Ninety nine. Ninety nine. Okay. So, both vibrations are the same from the both sides, which means that it is normal. Now, I'm going to percuss the thorax using the zigzag procedure. 
So mom, the only thing that you will do is to take a deep breath, hold it, and then and exhale. Okay? Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. So far around his lungs, it is dull and at a lower pitch, which means that it is normal. Now we will percuss for a diagmatic um, excretion. Okay. So mom, the only thing that you will do is to inhale again. So while I'm percussing, there's a dullness in this part and this part, so I marked it. And now let's measure it using the centimeter ruler. Okay, so 5 centimeters. So it is normal, and 3 to 5 centimeters is the normal. So next, we will ask you tape. So the next thing that we will do is to auscultate the chest using a flat disc of the diaphragm stethoscope. But let's clean it first. Let's clean the both ears. So in this part, we will use the systematic zigzag procedure that we used in the percussion. Alright? Make sure that it is open. Now, can you take a deep breath? Exhale. Okay. Exhale. So the sound as the client did an inhalation and exhalation is the same, so which means that it is normal. Now we will document the findings that we found as we finish the assessment of both the thorax and the